Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening the Glossy Box Freeze the Day Advent Calendar in the first video of our December Catch Up On Video series. Alright, so I got sick and didn't film a bunch of my videos. I have two advent calendars, three Glossy Boxes, an Ipsy vs. Boxy Charm, and I have something I got from Revolution when I was getting Revolution advent calendars that sort of came with it. We have a lot of videos to catch up on and I am going to try to just power through all of them and post them like one a day and trying to get through all of these. And we are starting with, of course, our Glossy Box advent calendar, which we all know has had quite a history with the US versus UK versus French versus German versus Norwegian calendars. They never actually put out a list of the products in this one. It still is blank on their site. I paid $110 for this, but it is actually currently $55, so that is actually a great value. I don't know the exact amount that this is supposed to be worth because of all the different calendars and all the different prices of the stuff inside, but somewhere around $500 is what they've been saying. We'll see when we get into it, but $55 now for this is a really nice deal. So we'll go ahead and I'll scoot over so we can see it up on this table. Okay, so here we go. It does have a really nice box. The Glossy Box Advert Calendars come in this thick cardboard. Mine did get a little smooshed, but it has all these drawers that are separated so that you could theoretically use this to store things afterwards. If you want to see sort of the differences between this advent calendar and some of the European ones, I have a video, I'll link it in the description box below. But for now, let's see what's actually in this and not what I just guessed by squinting at the picture. Check out that video if you want to. So we'll go ahead and get into day number one. Our first item, along with floof to invade your house, is Commodity Milk Scent Space Expressive. So I'm guessing like a perfume? I don't know that I want my perfume to say milk on it, but whatever. It would be kind of cute if the sticker wasn't peeling off. Just this black label. It looks like it's sticking back down. Let's spray this floof. Ah! Got on my hand. It's actually just really sweet. I kind of like it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I never like perfumes. We'll see. It is in my hand. Okay, it smells better on the paper than on my hand. Apparently, my body chemistry does not mix well with it. Oh, it's so good on the paper. <laughs> Two is this tiny drawer. And we have Estate Cosmetics and some sort of fruit. Wet Matte Liquid Lips in the shade Candied. Ooh, is this gonna be like Candied Apple? Oh, oh that is an interesting, I mean it is red, but like super orange. I'm gonna put it by my nail polish so you can see. I'm not sure how I feel about it. So there's sort of my dark red nail polish. And then there is the lipstick. It's not quite I don't know, I really, I prefer blue reds to orange reds. I just really don't think orange looks very good on my skin tone. But other people, I know, would prefer the orange red to the blue red. So, it's still a fun color for an advent calendar. It's just personally, I don't think I'm going to use it. Oh, goodness. And it stains. That was on my thumb for like 20 seconds. So, keep that in mind. Don't color outside your lips. Number three, back at the top, we have, ah, uh, the Earth Harbor. <laughs> I complained about this in my original video about the different advent calendars around the world, that we were getting this and other people were getting better ones. <laughs> uh, it is the, of course, Laguna. This is a giant jar, though. I think this is bigger than all my other jars. I mean, not that I need any because I have 12 tiny jars, but I 
it is a good size. So there is that. Box number four is wider. Ooh. I'm catching the fluke. Ooh. Okay, see this looks fancy. This is like a glass jar vitamin C intensive face cream. This is Cat Berkey. I assume it's some sort of fancy brand. I don't know. <laughs> I just barely know. Okay. It does smell good, which I'm glad because I put it on my nose. It's like a faint, almost citrus scent. And I wish I didn't have this perfume on my hand because it is starting to drive me crazy. On to day number five. Ooh, <gasps> whoa, that, that is a shade. <laughs> that is a intensely bright pink blush from Revolution. Now, Revolution, I think, might be in every single advent calendar. I don't care what the calendar is. <laughs> It seems to have revolution in it and they have like 17 themselves. So that is like bubblegum pink blush. And oh, I don't know, I tend to go more for, more on the, this is gonna sound weird because I just complained about everything being orange, more on the orange side <laughs> for my blush. But um, I am gonna start a series where I'm trying new makeup looks in a wheel of destiny. Um, so I will keep this in case I need 80s blush. Six is bigger. And it is, oh, it's a detangling mist. I love these. Now, I do not need to detangle my hair. You could tie my hair in knots and I could shake my head slightly and it would all fall out. Like, it just, it doesn't knot. It is beyond straight. I have to floof it up to get it trying to look like this and in a few hours it will just be completely flat again but my daughter's not so much <laughs> their hair not so much that I love these things so I am excited to try this this is by verb it's just a leave-in spray detangling conditioner let's see it sort of smells like lotion oh there's like little phrases in here do what makes your soul shine Apparently, straight hair, non-tangled hair. Seven is tiny, and it is a fully charged mascara powered by magnetic technology. I don't even know what that means. It looks like mascara. Probably shouldn't have opened it. I have like 17 open of <laughs> these, but you want to see the brush. And so I'm going to waste a little, but then you know if this is something you would want to try or give a pass. Oh, I forgot. I think this has a booklet. It does! Let's see if it says what magnetic lashes do for you. Oh, we could have gotten a peachy blush. Okay, so we'll go through. The Perfume That Hates Me is $25. The orangey lipstick. Oh, and look, I could have gotten like pinks and I did not get the best cycle of this box. I don't know. <laughs> Edition of this box. Well, definitely not, because I think that one's in the UK. But um, the Earth Harbor is $26. The face cream is $116. I knew it looked expensive. The Revolution Blush, $5. The Leave-In Mist, $20. It's not bad. So our fully charged mascara, this is a deluxe size. Obviously, it was like that big. Worth $10. It sounds sketchy. Powered by magnetic technology to act like a magnet, attracting negatively charged lashes to the positively charged formula. Like, what does that mean? And why would they assume that my lashes are just full of negative ions? I think that's rather rash of them. Anyway, so we'll go on to day number eight, and we'll keep our little book so we know what's going on. This has got to be like a deluxe sample, medical grade ingredients, so... I don't know why I need that. Replenix Anti-Aging Retinol Regenerate Dry Serum. Dry Serum? What does that even mean? $42. Okay, it's not dry. It's wet. What does dry serum mean? I'm just making stuff up now. It smells like the horrible perfume. 
<laughs> it doesn't, but so it probably smells like nothing. Nine right next to it. Ooh, this has got to be pricey. I can see where that $500 is coming from. This is the 111 or 111 Skin Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. I will definitely be using this. I have always just been whatever, like the prices are dumb, like who needs to spend that much? And I really like the 111 Skin stuff because <laughs> I keep getting it and stuff. And I'm not like buying it, but I do really like it. So I will definitely be trying this out. Probably doesn't smell like anything. Nope, just still nasty perfume. Maybe a little bit like smells like uh, soap bubbles, like bubble solution, like if you're blowing bubbles. We are moving on to 10. This, oh, uh, oh, the 111 Skin MSRP, $135. Wow. Okay, our next item is an NCLA nail polish. It's worth $16. Can't use nail polish. It doesn't dry on my nails. Weirdest thing ever. Like, I can paint my nails and hours later they will still be wet. It's just a waste of time, which is why I get the gel done. So, it's a nice item for an advent calendar, especially in this kind of neutrally shade, but personally with my bizarre body chemistry, I guess, that also makes this perfume smell nasty. I can't wear nail polish. But still, nice day. 11. Oh, it's a little wide one. I don't know why. This is... I guess it's to make the box square. Okay, this is an enhancing shampoo by Rain Cry Color. Okay, what... What am I supposed to do with this? It's like a one-time use of shampoo. MSRP $8 for this tiny shampoo, state-of-the-art formula. Okay, <laughs> I hate tiny shampoos and these things. I don't know what to do with them. I guess you could like take them on a trip, but then what if they bother your hair? I don't know. 12. Haha! -ha! It's these Tangle Teaser brushes that have been in things lately. I have a pale pink and now I have a hot pink. So. That's really fun. Day number 13 here in the corner. We have a tube. Oh, the Tangle Teaser Brush, $12. And this is $5.33. I'm assuming it is not full size, is why it's such a weird price. It is Christoph Robin Hydrating Melting Mask. Okay, so it's a hair mask. I don't use them. Maybe I should, but... I know it's a good brand. I keep trying to read these <laughs> instructions in French and I'm like, these are confusing. And on to 14. Up here, oh, this fluff, don't be the death of me. Okay, this is worth $5.81. It says it's full size. Oh, okay, it's Lottie London. So maybe some of these they might be converting from pounds. And so then you get odd amounts, like, oh, it's £3.99, but, like, then you convert it and it's, like, $4.26 or whatever. So this is just a setting powder. True translucent. The jar's kind of fun, but just a translucent setting powder. So that's nice. And then next is day number 15. Right here. We have, ooh, two things. I always enjoy a two things. This is Natra Ecos. Oh, this is the weird, the brand goes around the tube. What is it? Oh no, it's Natra. Exo Castana Body Lotion and Soap. Oh, that's a cute idea. It's a little soap and a little lotion. Oh, this would be cute to travel. It doesn't smell like a lot. It's just a creamy soap bar is what it says doesn't give a scent, so I'm assuming it's just kind of a lotion-y. Can't open it, doesn't matter. Oh, for goodness sakes. Well, I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, just mild scents. Very nice. I like the little two in one drawer. 16 is back over here. And we have, what is this? Oh, it's a headband. 
So this is Vintage Cosmetic Company. You can wash me! I hope so. Everyone wants those non-washable makeup headbands. Oh, it's fluffy. Oh, it's cute. There we go. There's our makeup headband, day number 16. Oh, the body lotion and soap, $4. And then our headband, $7.99. And we are on to day 17 down here. This is a tiny little tube. Ooh, Biro New York Truffle Eye Serum. Do we want truffles in our eyes? Advanced Truffle Complex. Deep puff and visibly firm while providing plumping hydration. $85. Wow. It doesn't smell like anything but <laughs> the perfume that's on my hand. So not a lot of smell, which I don't know why you would want that on an eye serum. $85. Okay. So I will try it. I will not repurchase it. <laughs> okay. 18. Right here in the middle. This is a big jar. Authentic beauty concept. Oh, it's a dry shampoo. These are always white. I know people say like, oh, you can just blow dry it and it's not white anymore. I don't know. I try to avoid heat in my hair because it falls out. So I just use ones with color already in it. Because otherwise it looks like I sprayed <laughs> something white all over my hair. But it's a fun idea for the calendar, $10. It's a nice day. 19 is right below it. And we have Fab Farna Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. Okay, this is a one-time use mask. I think I've gotten this exact thing before. $3.20. Not the most exciting day, especially since I hate the smell of Arnica. So, another stinky thing <laughs> for day number 19. We have day number 20 up at the top and it is a lip maybe? What is this? By Terry Balm de Rose Liquid Lip Balm. Uh, I like By Terry but do you think it tastes like or tastes? <laughs> Don't eat it. Do you think it smells like rose? <coughs> it does and it is stronger than the nasty perfume. So this will not be for me. This will be for somebody else. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm sure it's lovely. It's a great brand. It's $19 for that tiny little lip gloss. But, um, it's a travel size for $19. Someone else will enjoy it greatly. 21 is big. Down here. Let's see. Oh, it's like this huge... I couldn't even fit it. Look at how crumpled it is. Okay. Aromatherapy Associates Revive body gel? Is it just like a body wash? Oh, it smells really good. Like really, really good. Let's see. Grapefruit, rosemary, and juniper. I love the smell of rosemary. It's like one of my favorite things ever. Uh, my mother has rosemary bushes outside her house and you can just like crumple it in your fingers. Um, they also have them growing outside the Albuquerque Tortilla Factory as like their hedge because it's cute. <laughs> also, it's supposed to repel certain bugs. So anyway, I'm excited about this. I um, don't always understand their logic for their <laughs> boxes that it doesn't even fit, but whatever. Oh look, this one has another always focus on the good. As you're taking a shower. 22. We are getting close. This is a 25 day advent calendar. So we do have that last Christmas day. And we'll see if they made that nice. Oh, our body gel was $46. Woo! That nice smell is costly. Okay. <laughs> then we have Grand Brow Fill. Like seriously, someone tell me if they want brow products because I'm just stacking them up in a nice big pile. <laughs> this is Volume, Condition, and Tame, and I won't use it. I just don't use brow products. 
So it's in a cute little gold jar, packet, tube, gold tube. I'll put it back in here. Someone let me know if they are in dire need of like 8 billion brow products, because I have them. Okay, 23 is this tiny one right here. Oh, the brow product, $20. And this is from Larizzi Cosmetics in the shade Empire Gel Liner. Is it an eyeliner? I haven't had an eye, oh no, this is definitely a lip liner. <laughs> I'm not putting that on my eyes. Especially if it stains like this other one. Oh, see, that is a much better red. That's shifted more towards the blue. Okay, I love this and I will use it definitely. And it is worth $18. So not bad. And then we are on to 24. And this is, ooh, a red box. Oh, Glass House Fragrances. Oh, it's night before Christmas. How sweet is that on Christmas Eve? That that's the flavor. Let's see. I'm not having the best luck with fragrances. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Dancing Sugar Plums. Oh, okay. Oh, it's even a candle I can use. And look how cute it is. That's a little lid. I can usually do fruit candles. Or food in general, usually. Like sugar, cookie, but like citrusy, fruity stuff. Oh, this says shine bright like a diamond. Okay, with our candle. I wish they, they're gonna put random phrases on the back. I wish they related to something. Okay, last day. Oh, whoa, that was $20 for that little candle. So I have gotten perfumes from them before. So let's see what this is. <gasps> oh, what? It looks like some brushes. So this is La Russe. Oh, I do like their brushes. They're in like the fancy plastic. It's theft proof. So can't get it out. Okay, I adore getting brushes. These are an odd size. Maybe like a highlight, or if you're just doing like a big swash across your eyelid. This one's like really tiny. Do they say anything? Oh, this is lip. Lip, fluff, and angled blending. Do you have your fluff brush? Don't forget your fluff brush. Oh no, I like them. I always remember them because they have these. Texture dots on the handles. But the brushes are really good. I just don't know what I need a fluff brush for. I have to Google it. And then, underneath the brushes, we have this giant palette. It says contour, so I'm guessing it's not... I can't remember from when I did the video. It was so long ago. Volume 1 Cab Contour. So maybe that's why they give you, like, fluff brushes. You can contour. Let's look at this. Oh, so we've got... A mirror, then we've got all of these shades. So we've got like translucent translucent to caramel. Let's just give these a quick swatch. Put them on the back of my hand because <laughs> I've been putting them weird places lately and then I can't get them to show on the camera. Okay. You can sort of see going down my hand darkest to lightest. I still did it weird. But that is the range of contour shades. Oh, I wonder if like volume two goes up. If there's two. Oh, there is. Okay. There's a little picture in here that shows the other one with the darker and sort of almost blush shades, I guess. So this is like the highlighty going into, and then that one goes into the really dark. We have this that has an MSRP of $60. And then our three brushes have an MSRP of $84. Well, it says they may vary, but at least 84. So I guess you could get random brushes. 
but the minimum value of these brushes is $84. So that's, that's a fun last day. I have to admit that. I love that as a last day. A big, giant, chunky palette, some nice brushes, but big value, multiple items, very fun last day. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As always, I would love it if you would subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Bye!